What is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part 12 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Flappy Birds. So in this tutorial it won't be quite as flashy as the previous but uh, we're going to be going over uh, disposing of uh, resources like textures uh, to prevent any sort of memory leaks from occurring in our application. With that said, let's go ahead and dive into the code. We're gonna start with our game state manager. And anytime we pop a state off of our stack of states, uh, that means that we don't plan on using that state again. Uh, so in that case, we can go ahead and dispose that state. So we're gonna put uh, pop and that returns the element that was just popped off and we can dispose of it right there. Now we'll go into our menu state, um, we can see that we have already have a dispose method and all states actually have a dispose method from what they're extended from, state. Um, and we've disposed of background and the play button. Now we've set dispose uh, here and now we're going to actually remove that because we're disposing of it only when we pop the menu state off. So in this case, uh, when menu state gets disposed, uh, the background texture and the play button texture that were saved in memory uh, now uh, has the possibility to be reused in our program, so that prevents memory leaks from the menu state. Moving right along to our play state, let's look at what we actually need to dispose of in our play state. Right now we only have one actual texture, the background texture that we're using on our play state, but we have a bird and tubes, a, a few tubes that we need to dispose of, so we're going to have to create uh, methods in those classes to dispose of the textures inside those classes. Uh, but right down here in our dispose method of our play state, let's go ahead and do background.dispose that will dispose of our background then we'll do bird dot dispose and that hasn't been created yet it's it's called bird right yeah bird and then we'll say uh, for tube tube in tube so all of our tubes tube dot dispose and we'll create that method in the tube class so inside of our bird class, let's go ahead and create uh, the dispose method. So public void dispose. And what do we need to dispose of in here? We need to dispose of the bird texture. So let's just do bird. Since it's a texture, it has a dispose method. And that's basically all we need in the bird class. So moving along to the tube class, we can see that we actually have two textures here that are created for every tube that we create. And looking back on it now, it probably would have been better to just create two static uh, textures and we could reuse those static textures for every tube so we didn't have to create eight different tube textures for four different tubes. Uh, instead, we could have just created two and reused them on every tube. Um, but in the spirit of keeping with code we've already written and kind of keeping uh, uh, the code uh, the way it was done, we're going to go ahead and leave it for now, but that's something maybe you could change on your own. So let's go ahead and go down to the bottom here. We'll create the dispose method. So public void dispose. And we're going to dispose of the, what is it, what are they called? Uh, top tube and bottom tube so top tube dot dispose and bottom tube dot dispose and there we go so I'm gonna just log some text when we dispose of our play state so uh, system dot out dot print line and we'll do uh, play state disposed and then in our menu state, we're going to also do the same thing. System.out.print line menu state disposed. And now let's go ahead and test it. So I've tested it once myself and I got a couple errors. Let me show you what they were. The first is when we're setting a new play state and um, it's using the set uh, or the, the states dot pop from the stack and I forgot to add dispose to that one uh, as well. So we're actually disposing uh, the, the state that we pop when we're setting a new state. And the second is a nested iterator error and it's saying that I can't uh, nest iterators. Now I'm unsure where this uh, 
error uh, is coming from specifically because we shouldn't actually be nesting anything. I think it could be a thread error of some sort. Maybe one of you guys know. If you can post it in the comments, I'd greatly appreciate it. But this line, uh, these two lines of code right here were originally uh, this line of code or similar to this line of code. So for tube tubes, you know, is one of those iterators rather than a, a for loop with an I integer. Um, so I just replaced it with the, your typical for loop that's uh, less than when I is less than or equal to the tubes uh, array size. And then I set the, uh, the tube that these two uh, lines of code use uh, to tubes.get I. So without all that said, let's go ahead and test our code. So we have the game up and running. Let's go ahead and set a new play state by clicking on it. And you can see the menu state was actually disposed of. And any time we uh, restart or fail our game, we're creating a new play state. And you can see all of our textures and stuff from the previous play state have been disposed. And you can kind of see it here in the console. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. We talked about uh, disposing textures to prevent memory leaks, basically getting rid of those textures in memory or allowing them to be overwritten so we can use it for other parts of our program. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. If you know the answer to that question about the nested uh, iterator error that I was receiving, go ahead and post it below. I'd greatly appreciate that. Um, you know, if you like this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Uh, and if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. Uh, otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time, and thanks for watching.